We all know that learning Android is difficult. It takes a lot of effort. There's a lot of things that you need to know and you need to learn. There's Dagger, the activity life cycle, fragments, fragment life cycle, Jetpack, Room, Espresso, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I could go on and list all of the things that you need to learn for Android. And it's made all the harder by an enemy. This enemy lurks around you all day. It stays hidden until you want to sit down and actually accomplish what you are trying to work on. For example, you want to sit down and you want to work on that project. You want to build that app that you've been trying to sit there and build. It's going to speak softly into your ear and tell you, no, you should go and try Facebook. You should go and see that update from that creator on YouTube. You should see that new post on Instagram. It should go, you, oh, hey, by the way, your favorite artist just came out with a new album. You should go and listen to that. Or how about that new video game? It tells you that you aren't good enough. It tells you that the app isn't going to be a success, that it's going to be out, put out there and people are going to judge you and look at you and say you're a terrible developer for creating it, this. And so then you become scared. You get distracted, you become scared, and it's going to keep you from doing exactly what you are supposed to do. This enemy is called the resistance. I didn't come up with the name. It was coined by a writer, and his name is Stephen Pressfield. He talks about in the War of Art, how about the resistance. And the whole goal of the resistance is to keep you from accomplishing your goal. It will get you to do anything other than what you want to accomplish. So it's going to tempt you with your social media, with your friends and family, yeah, and TV and games, Netflix, I mean anything to keep you from working on that app. Anything is a tool to the resistance. Anything. But we can defeat it. We can fight it. How do we do this? We need to show up every single day to work on our projects, to commit to the learning process. And there are a couple of steps that we can do to make this much easier for us. The biggest is to set up a habit of learning, of working, of creating. Pick a specific time during the day in which you are going to work on your project, in which you are going to learn. Doesn't really matter when, just whatever time is best for you. For example, I tend to be a night person. I work a lot of stuff on a lot of my side projects at night. So every single night, I sit down at 8 p.m. and I start working on my next Instagram post. Or if I already have an Instagram post ready for the next day, I work on my YouTube video. I start recording something. And then I say, all right, from eight to 10 o'clock or eight to 11, this is what I'm working on, whether it be Instagram or YouTube or some other project. So you need to set aside a specific time allowance in which you are going to be working on the project, whether that's 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, or five hours. During that time, that is your time to work on the project. No matter what anything or anybody else tells you. This is how you start creating your habit. When you do this, you need to make sure you put away all of your distractions. Uh, use an app to block you from anything distracting. Uh, use an app called Freedom. Uh, you can find a link for it in the description. What it does is it prevents me from going to social media websites during specific times or It'll sit there and say, hey, do you really want to go here right now and keep me from going for about five seconds? It's pretty good. I like it. Makes me think twice. I also get just, uh, bored with sitting there waiting for it to happen that I go to a different site and I actually start working again and I forget that I opened up that tab to go to Instagram, for example. Next, make sure you close all of your doors, like block people out, especially if you're living with roommates. You want to kind of keep them from getting access to you. 
that helps a lot. And make sure that they know and they understand that when the door is closed, they're not to disturb you. Turn off your phone if you need to. I have my phone on silent all the time, and when I really need to get focused, I turn it off. Phone's a great distraction. What you're doing here by doing this is you're creating an environment that is conducive to learning, that is conducive to production. If you do all this and you create that habit, it will defeat your resistance. So, my question for you is, are you going to fight this? Are you going to stand up and fight the resistance and create this routine for you? Are you going to commit to the process of learning, to the process of creation, and show up, put away your distractions, and do the work? If you do that, let me know. Tell me in the comments. If this video helped you, if you found anything that I said in here uh, helpful, if you know of somebody who is struggling with the resistance, then there are a couple things uh, that I would like you to do. One, share this video with them. Two, Get them The War of Art. It's the book by Stephen Pressfield in which he talks about uh, the resistance. I don't get any kickbacks or anything for this, so just get them. Get it for them and have them read it. Link is in the description. Other than that, please hit the like button. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to know when I post new videos. And I will see you in the next video.